G'day guys, so it's going to be another boat building video. But to start this off, I'm going to give a quick history lesson. It's 1941, at the height of World War II. The Australian light cruiser, the HMAS Sydney, is patrolling off the coast of Western Australia and sights a Dutch merchant vessel and closes in to identify it, as its signals are not being responded to. The merchant vessel sends a distress call out saying it's being pursued by an unidentified warship, even though the Sydney's flags are clearly visible, turns into the sun and attempts to flee. The Australian cruiser pursues, still attempting to identify the Dutch vessel, with the Sydney now at close range and in a compromised position. The merchant ship reveals its true colours. It's the German raider, the Cormoran. Screens within the hull and deck fold down, revealing its heavy armament. With the Sydney in its sights, it opens fire, dealing critical hits and removing half of the Sydney's firepower. The two ships continue to exchange fire, but the battle for the cruiser has already been lost. The Sydney limps over the horizon to sink with all hands. The weaker Cormoran had won the battle through disguise, although itself was terminally wounded and had to be scuttled. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a boat with hidden guns. There is two ways of doing it, both with their pros and cons. I'll build it from start to finish, although it's not important how you build the hull. So centre a pillar over the mast, build one pillar back. Demolish your front pillar, build a pillar forward. Foundation next to that, demolish the pillar. Pillar within the foundation, demolish the foundation. And a foundation next to that. Remove the pillar and place the front six foundations down. Place a pillar in the middle square and lower foundation over the rudder. Now I'm going to lower another foundation back from that one. So that's sealing out. Don't need that pillar anymore. Pillar over the rudder at its lower snap point. Remember RB button cycles the snap points. And a foundation underneath that thatch ceiling at its lowest snap point. Again using the RB button to find it. So get rid of everything that's not a foundation. Now fill in the rest of the foundation at the highest level. Extend the back out with thatch ceilings and snap the foundation underneath. And finally demolish those thatch ceilings and the foundation is complete. Anyway, now to place the cab down. It's not important how you do this and you probably don't want to do it exactly like I do since it's meant to be a disguise. And I'm going to do it efficiently because I need pieces left over at the end for reasons beyond the scope of this video. I'll put some windows in front and backs just in case we need to shoot out. Okay, so now I'm going to have to put the roof in before I put the back end on. Now to keep everything nice and clean, I'm going to hang the 
back walls off the ceiling. There's three snap points on those sides, so it is a bit of a gamble. You may not get it right the first time. But that's what it's meant to look like. Now yeah, just slap the windows and doors in. Now the reason for the lower foundation at the back is to put the generator on. So it won't stick out the top of the roof. And then I'll put an inclined cable up off that. And an outlet snapped to the bottom of that cable. And then you can lay another foundation over the top at the highest snap point. Okay, so now the only really unique feature of this boat is a pillar placed on the edge of the first two foundations. There is two snap points and the top one is the best. Not that it really matters. A ladder up the back for access. And now another pillar up off the first one. Now step a ceiling, top centre of that pillar, and extend it two more back. And now hang the walls off the side of that ceiling. And there's meant to be a door at the back there. Okay, so that's the boat complete. Why have I used wood? Well, it's meant to look like a noob boat. And wood will resist one hit from a rocket, whereas stone will not. Now, only one thing left to do, and that's load on the auto turrets. So load it up with as many as you can afford. This boat will hold 10 or 12, but I only had 5 available when I was in the official service, so that's what I used. Volume of firepower is far more important than sustained firepower. So you're better off with 10 turrets loaded with 50 bullets than you are with 5 turrets loaded with 100. You want to get maximum damage in as short a time as possible. So remember to have your generator on so you can turn all the turrets on and load them all up with ammo. Now the tactic is simple. Just draw your enemy around the boat by whatever means you can. The boat looks non-threatening, so it's easy to get people nearby. Now to spring the trap, all you have to do is demolish that pillar at the front. Make sure the generator's on or you'll look a bit silly. Demolishing the pillar removes the shroud on top, uncovering the auto turrets. To gun down your target, which should now be in a compromised position. Okay, so let's go on a voyage through the official servers. So we've got a couple of Tyranodons up ahead, although at this point they're unidentified. 
So I've got my shipmate to open the window and try and identify them. But their hostile intentions become quite apparent. So they spent all that time painting their crappy trainodons only to be gunned down in that fashion. Not the high value target that I was hoping for. But anyway, that's expeditions over. I have to go back and reset the trap. Anyway, here we are again. But this time we were en route to blow up a boat by one of our enemies. But we've been found prematurely. But little does he know that this boat has been made under a different tribe name. So we know who he is, but he doesn't know who we are. That's why he would have been pushing into our boat to see the tribe name. Jumping off his bird was a bit of a danger sign because he could have pulled out a rocket. We didn't know his intentions so I made the call to pop the top. The majority of the turrets on play is only to strip them off their tames. Make use of the surprise and the high volume of fire. With only one or two to kill the tame after they're gone. This guy and his tame was loaded with gear. Another day, another target, so we've just blown up two metal turret boats, which was sure to attract some attention. Which it did. Oh, I think he's trying to call me dumb there. Here's a face for the tuts. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't get the trainer on. I was a bit dumb. I forgot to set him back to players only after I reset the turrets. Anyway, back to looting their boats. Sometimes I do question the company I keep. Anyway, I'll leave this video there. Um, as I said before, there's two ways of doing this. Um, in the second method, we'll make everything square, but it's a little bit easier. I mean, a little bit harder to reset. That's why I use this method even though it has quite a distinctive shape. But the second method I'll leave for another video. Remember to subscribe guys, just like Amanda did. And um, turn your notifications on, so you get notified of every new video.